In this video, we're going to be setting up the uh, Fataba 8FG HS to work with the Microbeast version 3. We're going to be using a Fataba 6203 receiver, a serial bus receiver. Any serial bus receiver will work. I highly suggest you create a new model so that all your settings are at default and then we're going to run through and change everything that needs to be changed so it'll work with the microbase. Now these are all default settings when you create a new model. The microbase manual recommends that you turn off your trims if you can and the 8FG allows you to do that by setting the trim to null which we're doing right here select the two little dashes and now that trim won't have any effect if you bump it. I get my fingers going really fast here. But in the next uh, part of the video we're going to set channel 5 to gear. People ask me why I do that because I get more calls from people that can't change the gain on their transmitter and if you set it up this way you can change it just by going to the endpoints and gear and changing it and you'll be able to see the change uh, by watching the lights on your micro beast if you want to go back to gyro later and uh, play around with that that's great go for it now on this uh, i generally use switch sf to change the gyro from heading hold to normal And then I'll go in and change the endpoints to 70 here, which is that's just strictly for demonstration. They're actually going to end up around 35%, but we'll do that in the next video. But I want to show you how the lights change when we go down on that value. Now we're going to enable a throttle hold. And you do that simply by assigning a switch. And I believe I use switch SG for that. So I'll select switch SG. And flip it and make sure throttle hold comes on. And now I'm going to go into the throttle hold screen and check it again. Just to make sure it, there it's on. And you don't have to mess with that value. You can set it to zero if you want. Uh, we're about done. So just go into the servo menu and move the sticks around. Make sure it does what you expect it to do. There's the elevator, the aileron. Uh, we'll move the collective and throttle up. And then hit throttle hold. Make sure channel 3 comes down. You can disregard channel 7 and 8 uh, on this screen unless you're using a governor. We're not going to use those channels anyway. We flip the gyro switch. Everything good. So in the next video, we're going to get the microbeast ready for the servo hookup. See you then.